What's going on YouTube viewers? It's your dude, Henry Mr. Dragon, coming at you with this video. Today we're out here in the front yard just basically going to go over some tutorial tricking. Basically today we're going to be teaching you guys, or I'm going to be teaching you guys, the 540 kick. Or some would like to call the Bali kick. It goes something like this. That's the 540 Bali kick. Or I like to call it. If you guys are new to this channel, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe notification bell for any more future videos Come up, coming up later on my channel. And stay tuned for the rest of the week because I will also be doing some reaction videos. Hope you guys love it. Let's get around with the rest of the video, shall we? Bye! Alright, before we get started, make sure you guys have done your stretches, make sure you do some straddle stretches and also static stretches basically, or, and dy dynamic stretches, you move, move your leg back and forth, you know, making sure you're loose and limber, don't want to hurt yourself. So, what's going to happen is that you guys are going to have to stand in a position like so. Now, it's a certain motion that goes with it. So, what I want you to know is that when you move, make sure your hands move along with you so you can build up a momentum to go over. So, if I just use it as just regular hands, I might have to force myself to jump up in the air and then land on the same foot I just launched off of. But to make it easier and simpler, all I have to do is make sure I swing my arms at the right position and then I take a step this way, facing my foot that direction and the direction where I'm about to face right now. And at the same time, I lift my knee up, whoosh, lift my knee up all the way up like this and let that momentum carry along with my arms so I can jump up and land on the same foot. Of course, you might get a little scared. You know, every now and then you guys might actually might think, oh my gosh, we're gonna fall. So it's okay to land on your hands so you can get used to it. So you guys learn how to do this. First learn how to the motion of it. So you step, boom, like this, facing this direction, you're launching off of this leg, remember that. So the leg you step, boom, I'm gonna launch off of this leg. As soon as I plant my foot there, my right leg is up, knee rises up, I go on and I go into mid-air suspension and I jump and land on this leg. And it's okay to land on both legs, you know, if you're not used to it. It's okay, have to go, so go ahead and keep practicing with it. It helps to practice. No matter how many times you guys fall, you gotta learn how to keep getting back up. So, here's how it's gonna go. Step one, the, mo the momentum. Momentum's gonna go this direction. I step, that's the second step. So momentum is step. So momentum, step, knee, then go over, ah, like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it all in one single motion. And once you're used to it, once you're used to doing that, kind of like doing the 540 kick, it become a lot easier for you to actually add an extra kick or at least a hook kick within the 540 kick. Another thing I would recommend is that those of you who do not know how to do a tornado kick, I recommend you do that before doing it. Basically, the tornado kick looks like this. So you can get used to lifting that knee up in execution of your leg. So watch how I do a step right here. Lift my knee up, kick. Land on a different foot, but also followed by the same. Make sure you are familiar with the tornado kick and come back to this. If you want me to do a tornado kick tutorial, by all means, put it down in the comments down below. Now, since the Bali kick is pretty much an advanced technique, you gotta be very well-rounded with how well you can kick and how well you're flexible and how well you can keep up with momentum. I've never felt so alive in my life Cause you make me come to life every time I'm free all right youtube viewers that's the end of this video hope you guys enjoyed it i hope my um tutorial was pretty much as best as it can if not go ahead and put your suggestions and put down your questions down in the comments down below i'll be happy to answer them and i'll be happy to like give you a detailed instruction how to do it or give you some of my my tips on tips and bits on how to do it but other than that, hope you guys enjoyed it. That's it for today. Hope you guys practice your 540 kicks or your Bali kicks. Martial artists, let's stick together. All right, guys. See you guys later.